Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer, my name is George and yet it's time for another cocktail, another video from me. Today we're doing a cocktail called Canadian Cherry, which is made with Canadian whiskey of course and a cherry liqueur. So if you're ready, let's crack on. Okay, the cocktail is pretty simple, uh, it's pretty much every cocktail which I introduced to you here. We're not going so complicated, even we will do in some point, but let's keep it simple for now. The cocktail is based on Canadian whiskey, so you can use any Canadian whiskey. Uh, simple Canadian club. I'm using Pike Creek, which is a 10 years old whiskey. Fantastic, very nice floral kind of a test and feeling. Uh, but as I say, you can use any Canadian whiskey. It's happened that's the Canadian whiskey which I have on my shelves. And also it's made with a Herring 200, which is one of probably the best cherry liqueurs out there in the market and maybe one of the oldest. Also, it includes orange juice and fresh lemon juice. And that's it. Before we start, we need our glass and we have to rim the glass with the sugar. In order to do this, we're gonna have to put a little bit of cherry liqueur in some kind of a small plate or anything, just so we can rim the glass with the sugar. Because the herring is uh, quite thick as a liqueur and very good in flavor, you don't need much. All you need is just pretty much dip the glass top and then get another small plate with your crystal sugar and just pop it in. And that's it. Leave it for a moment. Just leave a little kind of a tap on the glass so that any ex excess sugar which is not stick with the headache uh, can be drop down back in the sugar and this is what you have a lovely sugar rim so put the sugar on the side put the liqueur on the side and the glass and let's make it we need a shaker of course let's fill it up with ice and we're gonna start with our whiskey which is 40 ml of the whiskey so uh it's up to you, you can go a little bit higher if you like, a little bit more boozy, but I'll keep it as is the recipe say. So 40 ml of the Canadian whiskey, then we have <clears throat> 25 ml of the cherry liqueur. Going again in your shaker. And originally the recipe, it's, uh, it's quite old recipe, so it's coming back from the 1970s and uh, back in the days, uh, People have this kind of a measurement. Apart from the regular measurements, most of the other small parts of the cocktail and when it's come to juices, they use like a tablespoon. I don't know what was is the reason for that, but tablespoon is pretty much like 15 ml. So you don't need to use tablespoon, you just use your jigger. Most of the good jiggers these days have uh, 15 ml inside in the small cup already marked so you know what you're doing so we're gonna go with 15 ml of orange juice freshly squeezed orange juice and a 15 ml of lemon juice again freshly squeezed i usually squeeze the lemon and i like to keep it in the fridge because uh, it's getting really nice when it's uh, kind of aged if that could be a term for the juice to be aged but who knows it could be so we are ready, let's give it a shake. That's it, don't need much shaking, just a quick one, like briefly, just to give it a nice mix of all ingredients inside. Then you get your glass and now you have to be careful because you already have the rim inside. You have to be careful with the ice. You can't just drop ice uh, like you usually do. So use some tongs for the ice, so you don't touch the sugar rim, but just kind of a nicely build the ice inside. Get your strainer and surf. And this is the Canadian cherry. Simple as that. Simple, lovely, quick, uh, nice and full of flavor cocktail based on whiskey. You have this warm, feeling from the whiskey and you have a fantastic cherry flavor rich with a little bit of zest 
coming from the lemon and obviously tropical touch from the orange juice. So I will just gonna test it like that. Wonderful. You still have the presence and the warmth from the whiskey, but with a lovely, as I mentioned, fruity flavor from the cherry and some kind of a, like a zest and tropical on the back end. Beautiful, when you have this with a sugar rim, the sugar is gonna sweeten a little bit of zest inside in the cocktail and it's gonna have this nice crunchy feeling when you're drinking it. So guys, this was another video with just shake or stir and uh, Canadian cherry. If you are new to the channel, consider to subscribe. If you already subscribe, don't forget to hit the like button, leave me a comment and have a lovely few days until I'm back with another video. Until then, as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye bye.